Big bases are bullshit, but you don't want to live in a yee ass roleplayer base made by a YouTuber who lives on build servers. Wait, that's me. You want a bunker, a shooting floor, white progression, while still maintaining a simple low cost design. This is a stash, and if you don't like it, you can go f All right, let's do this one last time. I will be the last to fall. Shed a tear for them to see And I won't have your name to call Cause I will be the last to fall This base takes 23 rockets to core, plus 8 per additional loot wing. It has a simple bunker, 4 overflow loot rooms, and over 27 large boxes worth of storage. It has a shooting floor with peak downs, fence peaks, 3 deep stoppers, traps, and over 4 days of upkeep. Now this isn't just a base build, because we're going to be walking through every single stage of the wipe from tier nun to tier gun. I'm not stopping there, because in this video, I'm gonna be stepping off the build server and showcasing this base on a fresh vanilla pop server. But before that, let's begin with a 30 second tour. Welcome to Wipe Day. You gathered resources, made a play, and found a nice area by your favorite monument. It's time for our sponsor, Pine Hosting, and before you skip ahead, stop. Have you ever wanted your own Rust server to do this? Or maybe you just want to play without getting griefed. Well, with Pine Hosting, you can make a server in minutes. Whoa! Their admin panel is super easy to use, and they have hosts around the globe meaning you'll always have the best performance. The Pine AI feature will also detect any server errors in seconds. It even has a built-in UMod installer, so you can do crazy stuff like this. The best part is that their servers are super affordable, and if you sign up with code DILL right now, you can get 30% off. Check it out in the description below. Place a low foundation one by one and seal with a door. The door frame must remain wood. Before expanding, test the outline. The ground here must remain flat for our refinery. Place the TC against the left bunker wall. Add two bags and any temporary utility. Add a triangle in front of the door and surround it with two raised. Place a furnace as a jump up and cover the foundations to avoid soft siding. Add an airlock to the roof and seal with a double door. Place a triangle foundation here as a jump up. Extend the path with a triangle and a square floor. Keep the square twig or wood. With the metal from your furnace, add two double doors on each side of the bunker roof. In the bunker, soft side the doorway and place a top half wall. Replace the furnace jump up with a small box. 
To exit the bunker, place twig by jumping on the box. To seal the core, upgrade the triangle. A ladder will replace the twig exit method. It can be learned for 275 scrap in the tier 1. Welcome to the base. This is this is it, eh? Just so you know, it's gonna be a bit AIDS getting out of this base. You gotta, you gotta build your way out, eh? Hey guys, my name's Dildip. This is not your average two by one. You finished the starter and bagged your friend. It's time to farm. Are you friendly, bro? Okay, just because you're running away, I'm hitting you now. Oh, down. No. That was kind of a crazy. That was just kind of a fuck my dick. <laughs> right in his fucking asshole. You got some loot, now you need storage. Add a layer of honeycomb around the bunker. Inside, you can fit two boxes and six drop boxes as a duo, or four boxes with a shelf as a solo. If you have the metal, upgrade the core, the bunker foundations, and their covers. Outside, place a square next to the right honeycomb. Build a floor above it. Place walls around the square and add another layer to seal. This is the east wing, and it will be our main loot outside the bunker. The back triangle roof and the wall above the bunker will be soft-sided later. Keep these stone. Place your workbench in the path and add four boxes in the lowered square. This will take time to get right. In the back triangle, place three furnaces. If you looted a garage door, put it in the entrance. Above the square, build a triangle. Add two boxes and a campfire. Place a purifier to store water. Build a square above using a half wall in front of the furnaces. Add a repair bench, barbecue, and more boxes. In the west wing, build the same outline and place a double door facing out. The back triangle roof must remain wood. You can add a couple boxes to the square as a quick drop, but keep it mostly bare. Now that you have some storage, let's row. Uh, let's go mining out post quick. Oh, he's up top, he's up yeah. top. God, dude. I hit his friend. I'm getting you up. He's on the roof, he's on the roof. I hit him. Holy fuck, there's so many guys. Let them fight, let them fight. Move, move, move. Oh, he's sneaking up, he's inside right now. He's dead. Yes. Guy behind, guy behind. Is the guy on the roof dead? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just killed him. Another guy. We gotta go. Oh my god, bro. Behind you. This shit is retarded. How many people? Holy fuck. You can't win every fight, but maybe you could if you had better guns. First, let's finish the airlock. At the front, place another raised triangle and a low twig triangle between them. Attach a square and three triangles around it. Upgrade the surrounding triangles to metal and destroy the rest. Build a roof with walls and cover the raised foundations with half walls. Add honeycomb to the far triangle and an airlock to the front. Below the roof, place a refinery. Seal it with a ladder hatch opening forward. A shotgun trap can be placed below. Start replacing every double door with garage doors. Leave the bunker entrance and airlock double door. In the west wing, soft side the wood triangle and place a ladder hatch. Have it open front to block players going deep. For upstairs access from the east wing, remove the furnaces and soft side the above floor. Place a new ladder hatch and garage door. At the back of the base, add a second floor honeycomb. For electricity, soft side the wall above the bunker and replace it with a window. Place a battery inside. In the west wing, place five electric furnaces. Add two more triangles with boxes. You will need to build twig outside. In the west wing hallway, add a locker. 
place two beds above the bunker. On the third floor, enclose it with walls. Leave one triangle at the front. Add a ladder hatch up to the fourth floor at the back. In front of the ladder hatches, place windows and three furnaces in each. These will smelt sulfur and charcoal, while the electric furnaces will cook metal. Place walls on the outside of the ladder hatches, and add double doors on each side of the square. Place a garage door in every other socket. These will be overflow loot rooms. They can be customized to your needs. I recommend a mixing table, research table, and computer. Millitons? Yes. It's a duo base, but another friend wants to play. Time for some fun. Start by upgrading the bunker to HQM and the exterior to metal. The three front walls and the refinery roof can remain stone. Inside, upgrade the second floor ceiling and the bunker airlock. Above the fourth floor ladder hatch, place a double door airlock with windows. At the front of the shooting floor, place a triangle floor frame and three wall frames. Attach fences to the outside and a fence gate to the inside. These are fence peaks, which I learned from Siege. When covered by two layers of fence, you have full visibility, but take zero damage. Peek the gate to shoot back. There is a small bullet curve. Add two more fence peaks to the rear and place planter boxes in front to see lower. Fill the rest of the floor with triangle roofs. Above the front fence peak, place an auto turret to guard the roof. Upgrade its floor to metal. Place another above the front door with an inwards double door. Connect it to an HP sensor for best results. So 31 rockets wasn't enough. How about 55? Add a two-story triangle metal honeycomb around the loot wings and their back triangles. Place two roof honeycombs at the back triangle. Add two more to each side of the airlock. Replace the front door and west wing double door with armored. Metal the front airlock walls and refinery roof. Place metal barricades in the roof gaps to dissuade campers. Upgrade the battery window to metal and add an embrasure. On the roof, add three triangle floors above the back fence peaks and airlock. Surround them with windows and vertical embrasures. Leave the connecting sides open. Add a ring of double doors between each. Replace the floor above the airlock with a ladder hatch. Add walls around the turret and add a double door. You've just completed all five stages of this duo base. Now if you are a role player, or you just want a simple casual design, click here. <laughs>